This is Joe Warren for Pro Riders Web TV. With Pro Riders Advanced Motorcycle Training, we're making training normally taught to motor cops available to you, giving you the skills you need to ride like the pros who ride for a living. In this video, I'm going to explain a new exercise I developed for police motorcycle training that can help you avoid being the victim of a potential rear end collision. On busy roads and populated areas, one of the more common fender benders I work as a motorcycle officer is the rear end collision. Most of these crashes result in property damage only. However, if you're on a bike, stopped in traffic when someone's busy reading their email or updating their Facebook profile, you're likely going to come out on the short end of the deal if you're struck from behind. When you get stopped behind other cars, either at stop signs, traffic lights, or for other reasons, it's a good idea to line up behind the tail light of the car in front of you, about one bike length behind them. Remain in first gear with your right foot covering the rear brake. Many bike mechanics may tell you it's better on the bike if you pop it in neutral rather than keeping the clutch held in, but until vehicles get stopped behind me, I'd rather have the ability to move immediately if the need arises. Continue to watch your mirrors and be aware of what's happening all around you even when you're stopped. If you see a car behind you not stopping quickly enough, you can immediately use the load to lean either to the left or the right and accelerate around the vehicle in front of you and avoid being involved in that rear end collision. The exercise I developed is a simple exercise to set up and an easy one to practice, but if you've never practiced this maneuver, you may not execute it properly on the street if you need to suddenly use it. You don't need a large parking lot for this exercise and it could likely fit in your driveway. Set up a box about six foot wide to simulate the width of a vehicle. Most traffic lanes are about 12 feet wide, so if there's a car in the lane to either side, there's a five or six foot wide lane that you can use to squeeze into. Knowing that, set up a lane on either side of your six foot box and make them about five feet wide. Draw a chalk line about six foot behind the corner of the center box to use as your starting point. Using the load, which is the proper clutch, throttle, and rear brake, lean to the left or the right depending on which escape lane you're using and pull forward quickly but precisely. Remember, your rear tire will track inside of your front tire, so your saddlebags could clip the car in front of you if you're not precise. On the street, this maneuver requires precision in your timing and in your motorcycle placement, and neither comes naturally. It requires practice. I normally tell you that you only need chalk and a measuring tape to set up your exercises, but if you have access to a few 24-inch tall cones, they can help you to make sure that your bike is clearing the rear bumpers of the cars in front of you. Remember to practice all of your evasive maneuver skills and practice them often. These skills are perishable and doing them once in a class will not give you the muscle memory needed to flawlessly execute the required maneuvers on the street. Subscribe to Pro Rider Motor Skills on YouTube or go to ProRiderMC.com for more videos and training tips designed for motor cops but made available to everyone.